señala su destino, jinete solitario del antifaz. Ofrecerá al humilde defensa en su camino y sembrará los campos de paz. ¡Corro! Señala tu valor, diente por diente, justiciero y vengador. Su historia fue un romance de lucha y esperanza, la muerte una aventura, la vida amor. Viene de enmascarado y oculta su venganza y empuña en el acero su honor. ¡Zorro! ¡Zorro! Caballero valiente, temerario y burlador, sangre al diente y al tirano en la frente le señala su valor. Diente por diente, justiciero y vengador. Yes, soldiers, bandits in uniform. Thank you. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. There's some mistake. Have the coachman stop they for They won't me. bother us when we explain who we are to them. Uh, you don't know what they're like, senorita. Finish the ave. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us poor sinners now and at the hour of our death. you to go to any trouble, senor. Were you the one who was shooting? Oh, no. Well, in a way of speaking, you might say so. It was just my little greeting to you. Oh, idiots. We're looking for the daughter of Don Antonio de Riva. Oh, no. Well, she's not traveling with us. Isn't that right, Serafina? I've never even heard of her. That's enough of your crowning, fat boy. I have a message for her father, and she better come out right now, or I'll come in and pull her out. Oh, forgive me if I misjudged you. I should have known better. You did. And to rob us, you're much too kind. Yes, and well behaved. Well, gentlemen. Hands off. Hands off, you old witch. <laughs> I'm going to give this jewelry to my girl, and you know why? Because it attracts attention, and you'd be better off unnoticed. I am Manuela de Riva. What message do you have for my father, the governor? There's only one governor of California, <laughs> and that's Don Esteban Garcia, our chief. Come on, cheer, you dog! Yay! Your leader is an imposter and an outlaw, just like the rest of you. And don't forget it. Listen to me, my pretty. Take this message to your father. It's from the governor, Don Esteban Garcia. Cheer, you dog. Yay! When he's read it, he'll realize that before long, he'll be hanging from a rope. It's too bad that you're going to be an orphan so young. We're just going to pay you a little visit. And while we're there, we'll just take over the governor's palace. As for you, don't worry. You need be afraid of a thing. We don't kill pretty young girls. <laughs> there seems to be a shortage of them. <laughs> Your insolence will be suitably rewarded later. Now let me go, I order you. 
you order. Well, now, isn't that a funny one? <laughs> I don't think it's so funny. Gomez, I think she deserves a punishment. So just give me those pearls. <laughs> <laughs> she gave you a slap instead. I'll give that back to her. Zorro! Have you turned the statues, you idiots? After him! What do you want? I assume that I've arrived at Camporitos? Yes, sir. I asked you a question. You asked me a question? Oh, yes. I've come to take the stagecoach to Santa Barbara. It hasn't left already, has it? Oh, no, sir. It hasn't arrived yet. You want me to take care of your horse for you? Thank you. Come along, wife. From Aquas Calientes. I'm not familiar with these parts. I lost my way several times. But I'm not complaining. My time wasn't wasted. In fact, uh, I employed it well. Just between ourselves, eh? Your horse looks tired. He is. Must have been galloping. Hmm. Didn't run into any trouble, did you? Well, yes. About two miles from here, I thought I heard some shots. Since I'm not looking for trouble, I just held it away. <laughs> Camperitos. Once we're at Camperitos, our worries are over. Yes. doing? He 
took a cockroach out of that box and he's looking at it with a magnifying glass. A cockroach? That gringo's smarter than I thought he was. He's making believe. Get it? He wants to trap us, Miguel. Here comes another one. Keep your eye on that one. I'll cover this one. Here you are, old man. Take good care of him. Give him plenty of water, something to eat. Understand? Been running, has he? <laughs> what do you think? I could be wrong. <laughs> That's a fine coat you're wearing, stranger. You like it? It was made for me by the best tailor in San Francisco. Seems a waste to wear it around here, although you seem to take better care of it than you do your horse. Oh, I could always get another horse, but a coat like this, never. <laughs> Excuse me. What's the matter? Give me that pistol. May I ask why? Sure, but first do as I said. There are dangerous characters around. We can't trust anybody. A cautious man is worth two, according to the Spanish. But you needn't worry. If you'll check, you'll find it's not even loaded. I carry it only yeah. to impress people. As you see, I succeed. And now, for some of your famous wines. You know this country? No. First time here. Then how do you know my wine's good? Please sit over here. Thank you. I was hoping someone would come. Like the Megasoma elephants, I hate solitude. Lady friend of yours? <laughs> no, a beetle I found. In Central America. Here, just look at the head. It resembles the proboscis of an elephant. That's why it's called elephants. See? Yes, yes, of course. Very interesting. And you're taking this young lady with the proboscis to Santa Barbara? Yes, I shall be staying with the governor for some time. There are many rare specimens in this country. They aren't very easy to capture. But I find that I always manage. So you're uh, an insect collector? Oh, no. I don't collect insects. I'm an entomologist and a member of the Scientific Academy of Paris. Alfonso Marin de Costa. My family has served the most aristocratic families of Europe and Mexico for four generations. My grandfather had the honor of serving the Viceroy de Figueroa. And my great-grandfather served the King of Spain himself. A glorious breed of heroes. Of butlers. You see, my father used to iron the Prime Minister's shirts. <laughs> Papa, the coach! Sit here if you wish. We'd be most honored. Not only an honor, it's like a mirage in the desert. Please sit down. Do. Please. Yes, yes. More than an honor. Most courteous of you. Sit down, Geronimo. You must be tired. Oh, my heavens, what a terrible time we had. Oh, but you haven't heard anything about it, have oh, you? Oh, uh, yes, thank you. We've heard all about it. Thank you very much. No matter. I don't mind repeating it. I love reliving my emotions, don't I, Geronimo? You sure do. We often travel from... Sacramento to Santa Barbara, but I'm unfortunate they've never stolen it. Geronimo. And if they ever do, I'm sure they won't waste even an hour before they ship her right back to me. <laughs> Aren't you going to sit down? Excuse me, Senora, but I've been sitting for a long time, and I've got to move oh. around. Doctor's orders, you know. Lots of exercise. Excuse me. Oh, what's in the box? What do you pedal? Pedal? Nothing, my dear. No. I have no reason to pedal. Aren't you a traveling salesman? I am an entomologist and a member of the Scientific Academy of Paris. Oh, then, what do you have inside that? 
are some rare specimens that are worth their weight in gold. Would you like me to show you? You're very kind. Not at all. Hey, they're cockroaches. I'm disgusting. I can't stand the sight of the horrible creatures. Oh, no, you must throw them away. I just know that I'm going to be sick to my stomach. Oh, but, oh, it's a lamellicornius, the most rare of all. As you like, senora. <laughs> ah, you mustn't laugh, senorita. It's a rare one, all right. Stop me if I'm wrong. It's an elephant. No, a megasoma elephant's lamellicornius. <laughs> <laughs> that woman is impossible. And we're going to have her with us all the way to Santa Barbara. Oh, but I seem to have interrupted you. And you appeared to be engaged in a delightful conversation. We were just amused by the senora's reaction. <laughs> Your insects frightened her more than all the bandits. <laughs> I thought she'd call for Zorro to rescue her again. <laughs> if it's true, he protects the defenseless. He would have been on my side. I couldn't get away from her. Poor woman. We ought to be grateful to her for the diversion. At least she made you forget about the danger you've just experienced. On the whole, my cousin Manuela has enjoyed the voyage so far, and especially when she saw Zorro appear. I still can't believe it. I never imagined there existed a man who was willing to risk his life for other people. Isn't she romantic? In my opinion... Zorro is a man who ought to be intensely disliked. Why? Oh, because all the women fall in love with him. Although no one has ever seen him, or talked to him even. What sort of man is he? He's a mystery. Nobody knows who he is, or what he's after. Where he comes from, or where he's going. First he's here, then he's there. In fact, he might even be right here. Ah, oh, but he knows how to vanish, just like a feather. A feather in the breeze. Oh, too bad. Zorro's disappeared. The coach is ready. You can take your places now. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. I think they're both you charming. The side, well, hurry. Thank you. Be sure those boxes are well tied down. Yes, sir. Thank you. You can go now. Ride to the camp at Aquistel again. And tell General Esteban Garcia I finally know who Zorro is. But Papa. Are you sure you do? Of course I do. Ha, this time we were lucky. Do as I told you now. Hurry. I must remember to thank the governor for the condition of his road. So, once your father said that Zorro was hiding in the monastery of San Antonio, you know what happened then? I stripped all the monks and cut off all their beards, and I would have cut off their heads too, except that I'm a Christian. And I don't want my soul to go to hell. Tell your father to bring him here. And then we'll talk about it. Go on, have a drink of milk. If the kid says he saw him, why don't you ask him what he looks like? He's not like his father. His eyes are open. Hey, you come back here. You said you saw him, right? Yes, sir. What's he like? Sort of tall and well built. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, and I suppose he was carrying a box of ribbons and lace under his arm, huh? <laughs> yes. Yes. He had a box. Uh, <laughs> you pulled my leg, you young pup. It's the truth. I don't know what was in it. He kept it beside Where him. was he hidden for? Santa Barbara. How many times must I tell you? Oh, that ruins everything. If Zorro has gone to Santa Barbara... Santa 
And we'll go too. <laughs> if he attacks us, then we'll just attack him right back. <laughs> I've got a lot of good friends in Santa Barbara. But the message you sent the governor says we'll attack on the 19th. And Zorro's sure to find out about it. Let's not kid ourselves. He'll be right there waiting for us. It'll be a first-class massacre. That's what it'll They'll be. They'll cut us down like daisies, Chief. Uh, you're right. Well, then. You're not right, Chief. Why are you obliged to attack in the 19th? Because I said so in that message of mine. But you wrote that to trick them, didn't you, General? You always planned to attack them earlier. A couple of days before, to take them by surprise. Of course, Lieutenant. Of course. You get fat, you dope. Your thick head would never be able to cook up a plan as clever as that. I guess I know what I'm talking about. We'll attack two days earlier and the victory will be ours, Buster. Come back when you've grown up. And what do we do with the governor? Uh, string him up. Santa Barbara, Manuela. Juan, thank you for coming. You've grown more fascinating than ever. And you've grown much prettier. How's my father? I'm so anxious. Oh, to uh, oh he's Senorita. fine. You forgot oh, your friend. thank fans. you. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Juan, I want to present Senor Alfonso... Alfonso Marine de Costa. He's been traveling with us since Camporitos. How do Don you Juan do? de Valverde, gentleman of the court and my father's friend. And your future husband... Um, don't you think you forgot the most important part? Congratulations, senorita. And when will the wedding take place? Oh, we haven't set the date yet. I'll ask my father to invite you to visit us some evening. What do you say, Juan? Why don't you? I shall be honored. But where shall I come? To the palace of His Excellency the Governor. Uh -huh. Then we'll meet again. Oh, yes. We'll meet again. At the palace. Senorita. Caballero. He's an aristocrat who's been educated in Europe, a man of great culture and courtesy. You seem to know all there is to know about him. Shall I? I'm always the one to say we're going to get married. People might think you don't want them to know oh, it. I don't see why. No, I don't want to argue about it. I'm sorry. Coming, Elisa? Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. If ever I should need you, where can I find you? On the road to the convent at the White House. That's where we live. Yes. And who shall I ask for? Serafino Manso. You won't forget it, will you? Serafino Manso. I won't forget. Then we hope to see who you. Who knows? Goodbye. Come, Geronimo. Right. Oh, here. I'll get oh, it. Oh, Geronimo, you're so clumsy. You're always there you dropping are. things. Come along now, and don't lag behind. of this month, we will attack the town of Santa Barbara, where up till now, you have wrongly claimed to be governor. From that day on, I will be the governor, Esteban Garcia. Don't worry, it's just an idle threat. He'd never dream of carrying it out. Evidently, you don't know Esteban Garcia. The man is hungry for power. That's right. That's why General Santana was obliged to dismiss him from the army. As a security measure, we can always double the men on duty. I'm afraid that's not possible. We don't have enough, Your Excellency. Not enough men? How does that happen? Most of the armies, it's Sierra Madre along the river. That's where we expected the attack. I know. I signed the order. Then you should revoke it. Immediately. I don't need you to tell me what I should do, Juan. Colonel, order the army's immediate return to Santa Barbara. They must be here by the 19th. There isn't time, Your Excellency. It will take a messenger three days to get there, and for the troops to return, at least a week, even by forced march. No help there. They'd be too late. We'll have to defend ourselves with the few men we have left. Most of them are mercenaries. They'd sell themselves to anyone. Then we'll assign the vulnerable points to the ones we can trust. Very well. Take all the precautions you feel are necessary, but handle it in such a way that no one becomes alarmed, especially the women. 
Your Excellency, dinner is served. Thank you, Alfonso. Ah, here we are. Thank you, Father. For what, Manuela? My feeble efforts to make your visit home a pleasant one? Because you're the nicest father in oh, all the dear. world. When a girl starts that sweet talk to her father, either she loves him very much, or she wants something from him. Well, I love you very much. I find you a bit worried, Antonio. Is the situation as serious as all that? There's no cause for alarm, Signora. Every precaution has been taken to avoid unpleasant surprises. Still, I'm disturbed by the stagecoach attack. The post road to Sacramento has always been safe in the past. You don't believe that we're in any peril, do you? Well, supposing we were in peril, then we'd have to depend on Zorro to help us. He rescued Manuela, so why shouldn't he come to our rescue? I'd wait for his rescue. You sound convinced. It seems to me that Manuela's admiration for him is exaggerated. He proved his courage this morning right before me. A romantic adventurer. Please excuse me if I don't agree with you, Colonel. To me, he's a wonderful hero. If I should ever have the pleasure of meeting this Zorro, I will be sure to tell him of your exalted opinion of him. Alfonso! A butler! You're a very pretty girl, but you should learn to control yourself. And you are a vulgar imposter. But you're not so pretty when you're angry. What is it, Manuela? The senorita's a little heated up. Perhaps it's too warm in here. You think of everything, Alfonso. Thank you, Your Excellency. I think we'd better change the subject to a pleasanter one. Oh, this Zorro story, it takes my breath away. But that's your appetite. <laughs> <laughs> How are all your rare specimens coming along? Have you found anything interesting lately? I do hope that your collection increases rapidly. I am beginning to disapprove of this man. I suspect my cousin Manuela wouldn't be of your opinion. Two to the left, two to the right side. That's the thing. Ambone. Ambone! At your service, Chief. Call me Excellency, you dog. Yes, Excellency. You know what you have to do. Go do it. <laughs> Get a move on, you loafers. But don't make so much noise or you'll have a short military career. This candelabra needs a good cleaning. Last night, I expected you to come. I didn't know it. I thought you'd forgotten all about me. Oh, no, but I'm on duty right now. You can speak to me for just a minute, can't you? Yes, yeah, sure. But duty comes first, you know. Even before me? Well, can I pass through? Go ahead. Go for 
for a walk. I promised to be home. It's a nice night. There's even a moon. What's the matter with you? What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. It's getting late now. I must go home. It's never too late to make love. It is for me. Wait a minute. Wait. Give me, Let me just one go. little kiss. Let uh, go of me. Wait. Get out here, man, and search that wagon. Hey, stop. Two men around your back. Draw your swords. And use them on that hay.
coming in by the balcony. You we would have preferred there. the stairs, but they're cluttered with the corpses of your menfolk who dropped like flies. We haven't had the pleasure of seeing each other in days. I told you I'd pay you a call. Remember when you took me by surprise and slapped me with such enthusiasm? It pains me still, but that might go away if treated with a little affection. No! <laughs> Come here, my pretty one. You could find a lot worse than me around. Come here! <gasps> Zorro, do you mind terribly if I take her place? I'll carve a slice off your bald head that'll teach you to treat women with respect. Come here! find me by your side. No, it's impossible. Escape while you still can. You must remain free to act. You're the only hope we have left now. the governor of Esteban Garcia. Uh, come on, you dogs, attention! Uh, Out of the way, you blunderhead! I saved it. I saved it. Thank heavens, nobody harmed my... Uh, 
Make it some. Oh. See? <laughs> I am pleased to meet the mob. I now take over as governor of the region with full power. Do I make myself clear? If anyone has any objection to that, just let him speak up. And then face the firing squad. <laughs> <laughs> he only has to begin to say the word I, and he said his whole funeral service. <laughs> <laughs> My dear ladies, it looks like I'm late for supper. But never mind. I'll eat just the same, don't worry. Winning battles always gives me a big appetite. <laughs> Did you hear? Wood and wine for the governor. On the double. Uh, Adrian Ramos, who told you to sit down at this table? I'm the only one who eats here. Get up and get out. But... Do him off, hey. Search the palace. Stop the boat. Yes, Your Excellency. No, no, leave it down. I can't stand the sight of those potato fingers. Out! You there. You will have the honor of serving His Excellency the Governor. And you won't regret it. Because I've always been known as a great man with the ladies. <laughs> Come on, chow down. <laughs> I'll do it, Your Excellency. And I'm sure you'll be more than satisfied. The young lady has very lovely hands, but I'm afraid she's not accustomed to such things. I assure you, Your Excellency, that never in your life have you tasted such a savory dish. It was especially prepared for an important stomach such as yours, which is worthy of guiding the destiny of our land, so lacking in gifted brains. Mm. Wild boar's tongue, garnished with spicy sauce tartare, suitable mm, to the most delicate palate. Uh -uh. Mm. Don't you see? They're waiting for you to make some gaff. You must act like a governor from now on. Use the knife and the fork. Allow me to assist you. There. Mm. How do you like it? Mmm, it's all right. Good grub. Mm. Thank you. Oh, no, not that way. Wine always tastes better when it is drunk from a crystal goblet. Tell me what you think of this. Mm. It's the real stuff. It's the best in the governor. The best in your wine cellar. Vintage 1758. Mm. Oh, an excellent comment. Mm. It shows your content. What do we do with them? The women can go to their rooms for the night until I decide what to do about them. And as for the men, lock them up and tomorrow, hang them all. Hmm. No trial, Your Excellency? Wait a minute. We'll have a trial first. Don't you think I know how to govern? Hmm. And the trial will take place immediately. Captain Jomers will be the prosecutor. Lieutenant El Sol will be the defendant. The court's now in session. Since the evidence <laughs> proves the guilt, of the ex-governor Don Antonio de Riva and of all the others here, I ask for the death penalty. Yeah, me too. You imbecile. You're the defender. What do I got to do then? Throw your clients on the mercy of the court. <laughs> I throw them at your mercy. Yeah. yeah. That's much better. Does the prosecutor agree? Then hang on. <laughs> Court's adjourned. We must find some way to escape. Careful, Juan. We must be prudent. Get rid of them! I thought you'd be faithful to my father, but I was mistaken. You're a cowardly traitor. I am a butler in the service of His Excellency the Governor. Times change, milady, and so do governors. But a good butler never deserts his post. Come on. That's a smart answer, Mr. Butler. Thank you, Your Excellency. Hey, you. What's in inside there? Nothing, sir. Nothing of value. Just some coleoptera, diptera, aptera, and other scientific curiosities. What's that? What'd you say? He's a scholar, Your Excellency. An entomologist. Ento what? <laughs> he collects insects. Oh, that's just fine. I've been the governor's guest, and I hope to be yours now. Just remember that even Lorenzo the Magnificent always protected men of science. Nobody named Lorenzo can be more magnificent than I am. 
lucky, Professor. You can continue to collect all the insects you like, including the ones I've carried around. <laughs> hey, where did this little wench come from, huh? A pretty one. I see that Don Antonio not only was a judge of good wine, but he also had quite a sweet tooth. Come on over here, my buttercup. <laughs> now, what would your name be? Maria, sir. First parlor maid. If it pleases, His Excellency. His Excellency. Is very pleased. Quickly, clear the table and uh, put everything in order. I'll prepare your bath personally. What? Bath? Oh, body hygiene is important in the uh, revolution. In fact, some good revolutionaries consider the daily bath very revolutionary indeed. Come. Very well. No one will sacrifice more for the cause than I do. But wait a minute. I order him to take a bath. I'm not the governor. That's your job. Be silent. It's an order. The whole army is going to take a bath. If anyone refuses, you'll be shot. Hmm. No. <laughs> ah. Bath. seem very hungry. Would you like something no. else? Good night, then. Where are you going, Manuela? I can't just sit here and wait. I must do something to save my father. Something. Anything. Where are you off to, my pigeon? Who gave you permission to spread your wings? You must stay in that room till the governor says you can come out. Attention, you dogs! No, it's not that I was trying to escape, Captain. No, it's just that... You must have much influence with General Esteban Garcia. Hmm, yes, yes, he uh, takes my advice. I'm sure of it. You're his most intelligent officer. Ah, you've noticed it too, eh? Of course, it's so obvious. Another dancer like you, Your Excellency. Yeah. You may rest now. Thanks. Dancing is more tiring than winning battles. What do you say, Maria? It was wonderful, sir. I envy the lady who will dance with His Excellency. <laughs> you little flatterer. Oh, what strong fingers you have, sir. <laughs> Keep your eyes wide open. His Excellency, the Governor, needs my advice. Good tobacco. Don Antonio cigars. It's sad, but we have to eliminate him tomorrow morning. Go, Miss. Yeah. I want the execution to take place at dawn. Your Excellency, I'd like to be the executioner. So, you're the executioner. <laughs> Can I come in, Your Excellency? I'm having a conference. Is it important? And the lady prisoners humbly ask your permission to take a walk. Where to? The frontier? Oh, not that far, sir. Excellency! Just in the courtyard, Your Excellency. With your tiny brain, watch out for that bug collector. It's not always the wisest method of government to deny everyone. In fact, it's a sign of weakness. On the other hand, if you make an occasional exception, it will take the people by surprise and make them think you are generous, kind-hearted, and sure of the steps you are taking. <laughs> Except when my feet have to follow those marks. <laughs> I always stumble. There now, one of them looks like a Z. <laughs> that is a Z! Your Excellency, that's only a number. Come. It's the number two. It only looks like a Z. Your Excellency's always seeing the sign of Zorro lately. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
give you permission to laugh. I thought you were enjoying Me yourself. Me too, that's what I thought. Well, I'll begin to enjoy myself when you're out of my sight, so clear it out. Tell the women they have permission to walk in the courtyard two hours a day. But under guard. Yes, sir. That is your excellency. Guard yes, yourself. Your if you don't need us any longer, if there's no more orders, we'll just go. One, two, three. Hey, you two. Come back here. A new supply of ballet dancers. <laughs> here. Everybody has to learn to dance to my tune. Don't be shy. One, two, three. Look what I found in the palace garden this morning. It's a lacosomitan of the family of Sartonidia. It's a very rare example. Most interesting. But we're in no mood to listen to you, unless you can think of a plan to save us. Oh, Mademoiselle Manuela, I didn't come here to be a partisan, but to study the Asopia. So you wouldn't calm yourself, Elisa. Professor Pregonal's only mission here is entomology. He'd be more useful if he protected us with a pistol. Uh, so far, it's just an ugly little caterpillar, but soon it will be a lovely butterfly. Some people have this power to transform themselves, too, if they want. What do you mean? Hmm. Excuse me, but I have to go now to find a praying mantis while there's still enough light to see it. Come on, the walk's over. your father. Tomorrow morning at dawn, he will dance with a rope around his neck. <laughs> but no partner. <laughs> Need straight. Wait till I get this in. Maybe too late. Still, there's someone else who will save us. Zorro. I am certain that he won't abandon us. If only I could share your faith in him, Manuel. But since I've been shut up in here, only one man has even thought of me. Professor Marcel Freganal? No. Alfonso, the butler. What? Alfonso. Thanks to him, I've been able to eat something more than the usual prisoner's dry crust of bread. And thanks to him that I'm now able to see you. And believe me, I was worried. Time's up. Visit's over. Everybody out. I have to get up early tomorrow to do an important job. <laughs> and I don't want my hands to be shaky from lack of sleep. Come on up. On your way. Antonio. Get going. Come Be on. brave, Antonio. Antonio. Alfonso. Yes, my lady. Thank you for taking care of my father. And excuse me if I've ill-judged you. You've always had the wrong impression of me, my lady. I was hoping that by now your opinion had changed. Mademoiselle Manuela, have you succeeded in obtaining the new governor's clemency for your father? No. The assassins. Enough out of you. It's forbidden to talk to the prisoners. Go on, everybody in. One side. Now you two keep your eyes open. Because if you don't, it's off with your heads. Get going.
by the others. I'll cover your retreat. <laughs> Now he's escaped from me. Oh, he escaped, huh? I've been waiting for an hour for the female to join him. They see perfectly well in the dark, you know. Now I'll have to start all over again. All your fault. What are you talking about, you fool? Who knows how much longer I'll have to wait. Not long. Don't worry. Really? Yes, really. Grab hold of him, men. He's Zorro. Who's that? <laughs> we'll get rid of him right now. <laughs> Don't touch him. He'll get what's coming to him all right in public. So everyone can witness Zorro's end. Grab him. What's getting to you? Have you all gone mad? I don't even know this You can Zorro. tell it to the rats in the prison, if you have time. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a mistake. I want to speak to my consul. I'm a French citizen. Execute him at dawn. One moment. Excellency. One moment, Excellency. Zorro is in prison, but Don Antonio isn't. If he manages to get his troops together, we must starve him. Sure, but how? I think I know how to put Don Antonio out of action. How? Like this. Lock up his daughter and announce that she's going to be shot with Zorro. Unless Don Antonio gives himself up. I'll be done. You're a smart fella, <laughs> Gomez. Go and make that announcement, you know, like you said. <laughs> and you. Get hold of that girl and slap her in a prison cell. And don't you let her out of your sight for one minute. <laughs> it will be a pleasure, Your Excellency. We'll have two executions. Zorro and the daughter of Don Antonio. 
It's a double feature. <laughs> consolation in her final hour. <laughs> the old one's never going to make it, sister. She'll collapse before she gets down the stairs. <laughs> She'll respect. She's our mother. Our mother superior has a present for you. Give it here, Reverend Mother. <laughs> it's the wine we make in our convent, the wine of St. Ambrose. It doubles your health, your hearing, and your vision. Who's the noisy one? Oh, sister, take the vow of silence. She ought to suggest that to my wife. She hasn't spoken in seven years. Even if she wanted to now, I'm sure she'd find her voice and change. Listen, oh. sister. You wouldn't be pulling my leg. Oh, my son, you can't be serious. We're just three defenseless women who have come to see the prisoner and have her receive the holy blessing which our mother superior will give her. We'll only be a few minutes. Drink some of the wine of St. Ambrose. It will do you good. You. Let them in. They're going to see the prisoner. We must hurry, Reverend Mother. We've been allowed a few minutes' visit. Thanks to this kind officer. May St. Ambrose increase his vision. Watch the steps. <laughs> your door. You can use it to get away. Come with me. You're relieved. I'll watch over the prisoners. The coast is clear. I'll just take care of the officer. that Z in the prison wall did so to make us believe that Zorro's still at large and that the Frenchman we locked up isn't Zorro so that we'd be tricked into setting him loose again. I know. 
I was just about to say so myself. You're a pretty smart fellow, Del Sol. Thanks. Like me. <laughs> I don't agree. I know I got this bump from Zorro. <laughs> if you'll permit me, Your Excellency. You know, it's quite possible you're mistaken. How could that, uh, <laughs> that collector of insects be Zorro? He can't even handle a sword. Well, you saw how he conducted himself during the assault on the palace. Uh, him and his butterflies. <laughs> Two teaspoons, Your Excellency. Alfonso, your idea is not bad. But I'd still like to be sure that this character doesn't know how to handle a sword. Let's make a bet. I say it was Zorro who was dressed as a nun. And I'll prove that Zorro is a bug collector. How can you? When? Let's do it now. There's nothing like the present. Untie him. Ah. What's your name? Marcel Fregonard de Chignancourt. Alias Zorro. I'm not Zorro. Oh, no. Of course not. You're just an innocent little cockroach collector. You chase around after moths and beetles and defenseless butterflies. Then you stick them with a pin and hang them up on a board. You stick them and it's all over. Now these little defenseless butterflies might like to go on living. What do you care? You eliminate them, sticking them like this. No, it's all a mistake. How can I convince you I'm not Zorro? I haven't done anything, I say. Where do you scratch your sign on the insect? On the forehead? On the chest? On the shoulder? You sneaky coward. You only have courage when you're hidden behind a mask. We can give you one if you like, or I'll turn your mug into a bloody mask with my sword. <laughs> <laughs> dance, Zorro, dance! Go on and dance! Tomorrow you'll be dancing when the bullet hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there's a little blood in your veins after all. I thought there was just water. <laughs> stop, stop it, or I'll... That's the boy. A real man always fights back. Bad you don't have a sword. Maybe you'd be able to stop me. Or keep. <laughs> Show us what you can do. Pin them to the wall, like this. <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on. Show us. Which school do you prefer? The Spanish? Got you. <laughs> Maybe you want a couple of lessons first. On God. One, two, three, four, and thrust. Get up. Are you familiar with the French school, Monsieur Delsol? I am familiar with them all. Which do you prefer? Do you like this one? I learned it at the academy at Poitiers. From Jacques Gaumont, the greatest master. I won the bet, General. I'm not Zorro. Say that I'm not Zorro. Oh, I will not. Oh, yes, you are. You just gave yourself away. Get him out of my sight. him the last comfort. Some kind of religious fanatic. We've cleaned out all the monks for miles around. <laughs> A long-winded gun. He'll be taking the body away to bury it later. Don't get too close to him. Hmm. Why not? You'll find out.
finally got it. That's that. Better go over there and see with your own eyes. Tell me they all hit him. Our army isn't that good. Well, I'll be a... Uh... Hey, take a look at that. Holy man, huh? I'll rub him out. Get on those horses, man. Follow that wagon. Get him over! Serafina Manzo. Hurry. I think we're being followed. Thanks, but I would like to know who it was who saved my life. A friend. Just a friend. Perhaps you'd better come with me. If you stay on this wagon, they're sure to overtake you. Don't worry about me. By the time they catch up with me, it'll be too late. Well, thanks again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah. Good luck. Imagine he's here, you imagine he's there. Then suddenly he appears just when you don't expect him. He's already said he'd come here to tell us what we should do. Why didn't he tell you? I don't know, but I'm sure he'll come. Yes, but when? I already told you, when we don't expect him. I don't like to lose any more time. If I could get the army back from Sierra Madre, we'd defeat those rebels in a few hours. If you like, I'll carry your order to them myself. My dear sirs, let's not be hasty. Zorro asked me to wait. I'm sure he'll give you the opportunity of winning back the palace, and soon. Really, Marcel? I believe it. Everything's going to be all right. Zorro always keeps his promise. Be quiet. Be quiet. There's somebody approaching. He's still looking for you. Perhaps you'd all better go to your room. Geronimo and I will sit up all night. Don't worry about anything. Even if they should show their faces in here... We'll know how to take care of them. Good night, Senora. Good night, Serafina, and may God bless you.
Good night, Senorita Manuela. Serafina. You had an opportunity to see Zorro when you both came to set me free. Describe him. Who is it? Zorro. Oh, that wasn't Zorro, Senorita Manuela. That was the Mother Superior. Oh. Good night, Serafina. Manuela. Yes, Juan. I did a lot of serious thinking all those days that I was in prison. Yes, it was terrible. I know from the few hours I was there, I thought about many things. Then maybe you have reached the same conclusions I did, that it's better not to go on pretending. What are you talking about? Our future marriage. Admit that you don't love me. I don't think I'm prepared to talk about it just now. Manuela, I tried to win your love. Now we must speak frankly about it to each other. You don't love me enough to marry me. And you've never loved me. Good night, Juan. Expecting me? Not tonight, I must say. In the past, you've only appeared when there was some danger. And so there is even now. There's much danger in your eyes. And you've risked being caught to pay me a compliment. I'd risk anything just to see you again. Nobody would say we'd had many opportunities of meeting. Yes. But it's not the first time that I've been close to you, although you didn't know it. Tell me. Who are you? Whatever persuaded you to fight using the name of Zorro? First it was revenge. But now it's love. Which is more important? What do you think? But I could never fall in love with the man I don't know. Whose face I've never seen even. I'm sorry. I've never taken it off. To please me? I would agree. On one condition. But you promised to love me. Are you afraid you'll disappoint me? I hope not. Open up! Open in the name of General Esteban Garcia! Open in the name of the governor! They'll capture you. Don't worry about me. What do you want? We've come to search the house. Where's your memory? If you're looking for my chickens, you've already taken them once. Give these instructions to your father. Everything he must do is written down in detail. All right, come on in. At least the exercise will do you good. Two of you go over there. You must go before it's too late. General's reception at the palace tomorrow. Esconde de Torralba. 
Señor y señora López Alarcón. Señor y señora Hernández Juana. Marqués de Tobajo. These parties are boring and they're dangerous too. Hey, don't be such a peasant. Why are they dangerous? Anyone here yeah. could be Zorro. Señor Sotalvarez. The people say he's a nobleman. The people should just leave everything to me. He wouldn't dare come here. Yeah. Already nearly caught from his skin. He won't risk it anymore. Señor y señora Martínez de Villalba. Señor Soto Alvarez. Ah. Uh -huh. From the Bank of California. Ah. Uh -huh. Total assets, seven million dollars. Con el condeso de honor. Very interesting indeed. I was just thinking about floating a war loan. It's already been granted, my lord. Señor y señora Goyeneche de los Quinonteros. Thank you, my faithful Alfonso. How much is it for? For seven million dollars, Your Excellency. Senor Sotalvarez has been kind enough to bring along the papers for your signature. Well, I'll be darned. I'll be glad to sign immediately. Hmm? Senor y senora hmm. Espinoso de Vallejo. Now, do you see? Alfonso fixed everything up. Only he understood this party was for a reason. Thank you. <laughs> the delegation from the Tatiana Gold Mine. The property of His Imperial Majesty, the Tsar of all the Russians. The Tsar? <laughs> Gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to receive the Tsar's representative. Uh, they won't be able to understand you, Your Excellency. They only speak Russian. That's a blow. Now, how can I ask for their gold? Don't worry, Your Excellency. Fortunately, I have a little knowledge of the language. I learned it while in the service of the Grand Duchess Olga. Then serve them up. Interpret. Ruski, Rusorski, Musorski, Tchaikovsky, uh, uh, Rimsky, Korsikovsky. Bolonsky, Bolonskita, Bolonskaya. They say that they are honored to be admitted to your presence, that you are a great general, and that the fame of your courageous deeds has spread throughout Russia, where mothers now name their babies Esteba after you. Ah, and they said all that in those itty bitty words? Uh, I like it. Go on, say something else. Odessa, Rodessa. Simsky Kovarnia Voronov, Orlov Nikita Prokarnia, Mompulov Nikolaevna Modessa, Prokarnov Raspopov, Poruskaya Alexis Sergeyevich, Ruski, Ruskaya, Ruskikov, Probayenkaya Ivanka in Gorgolsa. Matenka, Matenka! Ah, oh, oh. You just die, you show spirits, Siberian. Rengogato Palinkana, Bratislav. Shabailo Ruski Favorski, Volga, Irina Gurukari Krotalon. They say that they wish to pay homage to you by presenting you with the largest nugget from their gold mine. Well, let's keep the Tsar happy. Uh, so many ways to get to the point. Yeah. Let's get an eyeful of my presence. The Mark of Zorro, 24 carrying gold.
Thank you, Juan. Beginning. <laughs> Long 